Hello. So in this video, we'll be seeing about the concept called access zone. In Isilon, we have a concept called access zone, which is used for group authentication providers. So using this access zone, one can segregate different departments into an Isilon cluster. Let's say in the Isilon cluster, there are three different departments named finance, system admin, and legal. So all these uh, three different departments want to have a dedicated um, Active Directories, uh, I mean the dedicated authentications and dedicated shares so that one will not be able to access the others access, I mean the shares. So it's like a segregating a different zone for each of the these teams. So in this case, access zone one is dedicated for finance team and an access zone two is dedicated for the, the legal team. And we have a system zone which is default and this particular system zone will be used by the system administrators. So in this case, you can see the access zone 1 has an authentication of AD and the access zone 2 has an authentication of LDAP. So in, uh, in access zone, we can have a different ADs that is um, we can have a um, ADs that will be dedicated for only that particular access zone and also you can have a AD that can be used on all the access zones that is shared one so in this case uh, access zone segments into a smaller group so let's say you have a three or four different LO business of units and you want to segregate all of them into a dedicated zone so you can create each access zone for each of these uh, business units so that one will not be able to access the other and they'll have a they'll be having dedicated shares they'll be having dedicated authentications and they'll have a dedicated smart connect zones as well so each zone handles individual client authentication so that you will have a um, dedicated nodes for dedicated people i mean the dedicated application so this will limit who can log into which node so as smart connect zone and access zones are getting mingled so here you can use this option to uh, limit which particular user can access which particular nodes coming down so here we have the access zone capabilities so this access zone uh, control is on the client access and user can access uh, different resources inside a uh, one particular access zone so based on this smart connect zone users will be able to access the nodes so user inside one particular access zone can access only the resources inside that particular access zone example a user in an access zone one can will be able to use only the shares or nfs exports that are available inside that particular access zone and one of us includes built-in access zone that's called a system access zone by default in which all the available authentication providers and all the NFS export and all the SMB, SMB shares are available by default. And if you are going to create a new uh, access zone, then you can create that. And whenever you want to create a new share for one particular access zone, then you will need to mention the access zone name so that that particular share will be created inside that access zone. If you are not going to mention any access zone, then that particular share will be saved in the default access zone system. So here, additional access zone, the partition the cluster. So you can partition the cluster according to the access zone. Let's say I want the directory IFS data SMB to be dedicated for access zone one, and I want to dedicate an um, directory IFS data SMB two for access zone two. So in this way, you can dedicate the the uh, partition of the cluster to one particular access zone, so that they will have access to only that particular path. So this is an architecture of the access zone, how it works. So here you can see all these protocols are upon the, uh, so on the top level and below that we have the AD and below that, sorry, we have the uh, LLS, LSAT and below that we have the access zone. So here we have the system zone, HR zone and sales zone and each zone has their own authentications like file and local 
is dedicated for system zone and ad and local for hr and again ad and local for sales so each has different ad and different local zones so in this way you can dedicate one particular uh, authentication provider to one particular access zone so that they will not have uh, they will not be able to access any of the resources on the other zone so here you can see uh, how access zone is and you can have so this particular access zone is used for a multi-tenancy cluster so in one cluster you can segregate these access zones into different uh, tenancies that one cluster can serve the purpose of multi-tenancy so let's see more about access zone in the practicals so let's log into the cluster so here you can see a tab called access and below that access zone so here you can see the access zone that is default which is system so the system zone is created by default when the cluster is built and the path is IFS so the system zone has the default group net zero as well create an access zone so give an access zone name finance so I am going to dedicate one particular directory that is SMB CLI so group net is same and I will be using file as the authentication provider and create zone So here I have created a separate zone called finance. So whenever I want to create a share inside this particular zone, then I can choose the option here current access zone. So the current access zone is set to system and now I'm going to change to finance. So here in finance, you will see there are no shares and when you create a SME share here, then that particular SME share will come under a finance. So the path will be dedicated and you cannot go for another path. See it says must begin with SMB CLI as this particular directory is dedicated for this particular access zone. Sorry. So we are done create SMB share and we'll leave everything as default so my share is created so in finance I can see finance share and in system zone I will not be able to see that particular so the same way in CLI is the access sorry, is the zone list so this is the zone so we have system and finance so easy SMB shares so this this will list only the default zone so now I, I want to I want to specifically go for finance zone so now this will list the shares inside the finance zone so the same way you can also dedicate the authentication providers for each zones so I want to go and add the authentication providers then so the list of authentication providers will, will be here and you can just add and remove the authentication providers to the uh, this particular access zone so by this we have completed the access zone we'll see on the next lecture